What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and today what we're going to be talking about are these hidden sets that we really know about but we just forget about and then for some reason we're like yo we got all these things what are we supposed to do with them what's going on I'm going to go over some of the secret sets and things that I've spoken about in the past, but now as we get geared up for the golden tickets, people have been asking me, yo, G Maya, I need to get my coins up. Some of you guys are like straight mutt millionaires, bro. Like you guys are balling out of control. You guys give me shout outs on Twitter like, yo, thank you, G Maya. You really helped me. You really held me down with this, bro. Show me all these tips. I want to tell you, I'm very, very humbled to, you know, for you guys to be giving me thanks, but you guys really put in the work, man. This game is outrageous. And a lot of you guys that play it or watch it, you guys watch it and play it solely for me, and that's definitely 100% appreciated. But put, just keep this in mind. When you guys listen to the tips that I give and it works out for you, you guys are putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? So you guys deserve some credit as well. You know, because like I said, I have to have heart medication right next to me every time I go into a ranked game. So I'm really, really trying to keep it going, and I thank you guys for rolling with me. But look, this is what we're going to talk about right now. These are, these are the hidden sets that... You know, people just don't, you, you either forget about it, you don't, you don't know that it's there, or whatever the situation is. We're going to start off with the boss battles. Because this this set right here, this, a lot of you guys have been listening, listening and doing your boss battles, right? Some of you guys haven't been doing it. And you guys don't realize that you're going to be able to use those trophies for other things later. Like, you know, when EA just doesn't care, they're going to give you other sets to be able to use that with. And you're going to be like, yo, bro, I should have listened, man. I should have listened and got that. that a lot, you guys do it to me every year. You're like, yo, I'm not going to put the game in. I don't care. I'm done with Madden. Then they give you a, a wild set. You guys jump back on. Oh, yo, bro, I don't got none of those, uh, those boss battle tokens. All right. This is what the situation is, right? As you go through it every week, you get certain players. This set right here, it, yo, dudes have tweeted me that they pulled Moses, bro. Like, straight up 99 Jay-Z with a little bit of DMX. They've pulled such crazy pulls out of this. I tried it once. I pulled straight garbage. But that doesn't mean that you guys will. Keep in mind, if you wait for Saturdays with Legends and then do this set... And then, you know, you get lucky, you sell it, you do whatever you got to do because it is auctionable. And it's one of those sets that people just forget that's there because a lot of you guys, if you guys are not grinders, you guys don't know about this. You know what I'm saying? If you guys are just like, yo, bro, when's the next pack coming out? A lot of you guys just buy packs. And like I said, it doesn't matter. Either way it goes, you buy packs, you grind. I'm going to do it for everyone. You know what I'm saying? But I'm only going to tell you when it's right to buy specific packs. That's it. I'm not the kind of dude. Like, I bought packs for maybe two or three promos the entire year so far. And that's it. I don't buy it for every promo because when you once you realize the type of attributes that matter in the year of the Madden, you should be careful with, with you know which which promos you spend money on. It's pretty much what it is. So that's one of the you know you know the secret hidden sets or whatever like that that people forget about. Now this one is the huge one because this is how I'm gonna make my come up. All right, you're going to go over to head to head rewards and you're going to go over to see series four and you're going to go down to 300k quick sell and you're going to have to use a hundred of these quick sells, you know, these, um, these tokens and you're going to get double, you know, what it's worth because each one of these quick sell for about 1500 coins. And I've done this set already once, but I stopped playing the game as much as I was playing it before because my heart couldn't take it and I had to step away from it. This is what I'm saying to you. You get a certain amount of these cards from just playing weekend league. You get a certain amount of these cards from every time that you complete, you know, a head-to-head -head season. You need to make sure that you're completing these sets, okay? Because this is another way that people don't realize that you can get off, you know, you can release some of your frustration. Because at least you got something out of what that got. You play a guy that was running around in a circle, closed his eyes, dropped on the floor, stabbed himself in the kneecap, and then threw a dot. We've all... Listen, bruh, we've all had a guy do that to us. Don't feel bad about it, bro. It happens. But guess what? If you're still able to overcome that, you may be lucky enough to get a token. Okay? So why not get everything that that token has to offer? You see what I'm saying? The 100 of them, you know, 100 times 1,500, that's 150K. You're getting 300. So that's how I'm building it to get myself ready for the golden tickets. Now, another thing that you guys have been asking me is like, yo, bro, I got so many coins. I'm sitting on six mil, seven mil. How should I gauge how I buy a golden ticket? What should I do, G Maya? What, what, you know, if, if it's ridiculously priced, should I buy it? That's a great question. This is what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna let you guys understand this. Do not overspend for golden tickets. 
I'm going to repeat that again. Do not overspend for golden tickets. This is what I mean. We're going to use an example right now. We're going to go to auctions and trades. And then all we're going to do, we're going to leave everything the same. And we're just going to put in the quality of 98 to 99. Because once the golden tickets are released, they are also going to be added to this whole list of ridiculousness. Now, what happens is when you first come in here, you're going to see some relatively cheap cards like Dan Marino right there. Then you're going to see somebody post this guy for this amount of, amount of coins, and he's not selling. I don't care that he's a 97 speed, and then he goes to a 98 with John Madden. Probably, he goes to a 99 with Toughness and John Madden. I don't care about that. Why would you spend that on a card right now when we're going up against, um, when we're coming up to Golden Tickets, Greatest of All Time promo, all these other promos are going on. Why would we do that? That's the same type of mindset I want you guys to keep for the Golden Tickets. If you look... If you really, really want a golden ticket, right, and you see it there and the price looks relative to what you should be spending based on the attributes of what works in Madden 18, for instance, we all know that speed on offense with the wide receiver position, when you're in competitive mode and you're playing a game head-to-head, -head, you're not burning the corner in a zone. Talib is going to be right with you, the base one that has like 84 speed. Terrence Newman, he's going to be right there. That's something that we already know as a fact. So you don't need to go wild at the wide receiver position for speed. You see what I'm saying? Or if you have Calvin Johnson and Randy Moss, with Randy Moss, he should already be a 99 if you have the John Madden coach and he has tier whatever toughness. You see what I'm saying? If he has, if he has a tier five toughness and John Madden, he's already 99 speed. Remember, unless EA releases some kind of thing saying, yo, bro, we're going to be going back to the old roots. We're going to let you guys have 100 plus acceleration, 100 plus speed. You remember Bo Jackson and Madden 16, stuff like that. If, if you're going to do that, that's different. Other than that, do not spend any money on a wide receiver golden ticket. Unless it's somebody that you made or you, you, know, you like it or whatever, or you just don't, you don't have a Randy Moss right now. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're waiting and you're trying to see what's going to be available or you sold Randy Moss in preparation for golden tickets. Because most of them are going to have 99 speed. Whether it's for uh, the tier chemistry or whatever it's going to be. They're going to already have, you know, at least 99 speed. Because that's what the golden ticket promo is all about. Alright? So, if you see something at wide receiver and you already have Calvin Johnson. You already have Randy Moss. You know what? I, look, do not, do not waste it. For me personally, I'm looking for Leonard Floyd. Because Leonard Floyd, 6'6", running around the field like an idiot, he's going to be unbelievable for me. I always go for the really, really tall uh, user linebackers because it's just fun. Even though this year I've dropped more picks than any of other year in Madden, it's still something that you want to utilize and have at that position. Okay? So wide receivers, we, don't, we can wait it out. You know what I'm saying? If you see a wide receiver and he's going for like $2 million, wait it out. That price is going to drop. Move away from it. What positions are going to be the most highly priced? It's probably going to be corners, defensive linemen, in my opinion. Because if, if you do anything else other than that, I don't know really what you're doing. Most of you guys are mutt masters, so we don't care what, that the Calvin Johnson free safety is going to be available. We don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you got mutt master Sean Taylor, don't put him at corner. Don't put him anyplace else. Leave him where he's at. He plays his position fine. If you don't have Mutt Master Sean Taylor, then you go with the out of position Calvin Johnson free safety golden ticket, but you still don't spend ridiculous amounts for him. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. You have to wait until you see that it is what it's supposed to be. When the price is right, that's when you attack. Until then, you don't do anything else, bro. You're not worried about, you know, whatever, whatever else everybody else is doing and what you just waited out. Because if you don't buy it, people have no choice. But to reduce the price, and then what happens is people get desperate. Then the price, you know, you might be one of those guys that get the lucky lurk. You know what I'm saying? So always keep that in mind. In addition, right, Ultimate Legend Bo Jackson is supposed to be getting released very soon. So with that being said, running back wise, unless it's Michael Vick out of position and he's just straight glitchy, 99 speed, 99 this, 99 that, all kinds of 99 with the 99, we're not even looking at it. There are certain positions that we're not even looking at. We don't care. Because to be honest, Barry Sanders, if you're just looking for a fast running back, Barry Sanders with the, um, the toughness can go to 99 speed already. So if they're not going to increase any of the other attributes above 99 for golden tickets, 
Don't spend the coins. Do not, listen to me, do not spend the coins. For, for you guys that are specifically asking me about the price ranges of golden tickets, do not spend the coins. Wait it out, see what comes up, and you go from there. Force them to reduce the price. Because trust me, you don't want to be the guy that loses and then you realize at the end, like, yo, wh why did I just do that? That doesn't make it, now I'm done. Because remember, whatever coins you save from the golden ticket promo, that's going to go towards the rookie premiere promo, which is going to help you because those cards are going to be transferable to Madden 19. So you want to still be building for the future while enjoying the current promo. And to be honest, after the golden ticket promo, all the cards are going to have 99 everything. 99 this, 99 that, all kinds of 99 with the 99. So you want to take your time. You don't want to be foolish and lose your coins just because you're trying to get this card faster than everybody else. The price will be relative to what the attributes are. Why is Greg Zerline this, this expensive still? Oh, because people want to get their team to a 99. So you got the kicker is part of that and the punter. Okay, that makes sense. I'm still not, I, I, think I, I think I actually completed the set and sold them for a ridiculous amount when they first came out, those position heroes. But that's what I want you guys and girls to understand. Just be very, very careful. In my opinion right now, what's going to happen is this, right? Once we see what's released, if they don't have decent attributes, Randy Moss's price is going to go back up. Calvin Johnson's price is going to go back up because they're going to be the best wide receivers still that are active. So like I said, I see D linemen, corners. I see the defensive side of the ball being like glitchy. Wide receiver-wise, we already have decent wide receivers that are ultimate legends. The running back, I told you, Mike Vick is the only other card that I would consider over Bo Jackson. And you're probably like, what are you talking about? Because the golden ticket, uh, Mike Vick, if you guys have used his regular halfback, you guys would know. That was one of the glitchiest cards in the game. And just the way that he's built, he's very slender. He makes moves through like certain gaps that other players can't make. That's why I would go with the Mike Vick over, uh, you know, Ultimate Legend Bo Jackson, if that card is said to be released. All right? So that's the information I wanted to share with you guys. Don't forget about those sets and be very, very careful with your spending habits because we have to make sure that there's something left after this promo's over. Most likely for us to put it towards Rookie Premiere. So keep everything stashed for the Rookie Premiere and keep, you know, just keep focused on what we're trying to build. Most of us are trying to get a 99 overall team. So you're going to have to end up spending for a kicker and a punter anyway. But let's save our coins for the skill positions first, and then we'll go from there. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Please subscribe, share, one love.